I think they think I'm an astronaut. <laughs> Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments that made us love Ryan Gosling. Well, I have that Kennergy. <laughs> sure do. That he could feel, obviously, mm. when you commented on it and, you know. It's, uh, I, I still feel like the energy is alive and... For this list, we'll be looking at iconic pop culture moments that have us head over heels for the movie star. When did you first start to love the former Mouseketeer? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. When he compared snacks on Snack Wars As a public figure, Gosling has had plenty of press appearances over the years. But after countless late-night and talk show appearances, it was refreshing to see the actor give a more casual interview. There's got to be a better way to, to bite this. I don't want to create a gift factory here. While promoting his film The Gray Man, Gosling appeared on the YouTube series Snack Wars for Lad Bible. In the video, the Canadian actor compares snacks from his home country to British ones. I'm going to go with this. There's more options. Yeah. You can destroy it. Yeah. And then enjoy it. The relatively reserved man comes across relaxed, conversing easily with the interviewer and producers. How's that pork pie? It's actually still, still going on. <laughs> <laughs> he commits to the format, sometimes revealing the snacks with such enthusiasm he hits the boom mic. With his natural charm so plainly on display, this is a video you can count on us watching more than once. And we have. It's like a, it's like a fancy hot dog. It's like a hot dog in a tuxedo. Number 9. When He Kissed Rachel McAdams Gosling first found a place in our hearts with his intensely romantic portrayal of Noah Calhoun in The Notebook. Playing opposite Rachel McAdams as Allie Hamilton, the duo deliver a love story that has all the feels. It wasn't over. It still isn't over. With such incredible chemistry on screen, it's not surprising the actors gave dating a go in real life. The two were together at the time of the 2005 MTV Movie Awards, the same year they were also nominated for Best Kiss. Upon winning, the couple gratified the audience with a passionate smooch on stage. The two stars split up for good in 2008, but this pop culture moment is too iconic to forget. Lindsay Lohan's reaction is all of us. It was my pleasure. Number 8. When He Became a Meme Following Gosling's magnetic performance in The Notebook, the World Wide Web did what it does best and made a meme. The internet trend features images of the performer paired with messages led by the greeting, Hey girl. Hey girl. If I made this face forever, would you still want to make out? While the actor has never actually said the things for which he's getting credit, we like to imagine that he would. From sometime around the end of 2008, the meme continued to grow in popularity throughout the early 2010s. Hey girl, an apple a day won't keep me away. Nice. Books, merchandise, and even a Google Chrome plugin were created inspired by the movie star's image. Gosling doesn't always seem the most comfortable with the internet's obsession with him, but when he does engage with the occasional meme, we are here for it. Don't you think that I have a right to know that you're engaging in this kind of commercialism and that this stuff is out there? I have nothing to do with it. If it's not you, then who? Number 7. When he brought his dog to an interview While promoting his film Crazy Stupid Love, Gosling brought his pup George to Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. Thank you so uh, much. Who's, this, who's this guy here? That's George. Hey, George. Oh, hi. Thank you. Oh, very good. Donning a mohawk and a single sock, the pooch came across as cool as his owner. What kind of dog is he? He's some kind of Muppet. He is a Muppet. He's really cute. We found it endearing as the actor periodically gave bits of apple to his furry friend. Sadly, George passed away in December of 2016. When Gosling hosted an episode of Saturday Night Live in 2017, he wore a special shirt in tribute to his pet. Besides being a pet owner, Gosling is also an animal activist. In the past, he's worked with PETA to advocate for better treatment of chickens and cows. As a dog parent and defender of animal rights, Gosling has proven himself to be a true animal lover. George, sit down. Sit. Sit, Georgie. Sit. Come on, go down. Get down. Get down, George. Okay. Number 6. When He Ate His Cereal The Hey Girl meme isn't the only internet trend that features the movie star. 
During the early to mid-2010s, filmmaker Ryan McHenry created a series of popular vines titled Ryan Gosling Won't Eat His Cereal. The short videos show various clips of films starring the actor as well as McHenry's hand holding a spoonful of cereal. The vine creator attempts to feed the leading man through the screen, only for Gosling to refuse. <laughs> Not only is the series funny and original, it demonstrates how extensive the performer's early filmography is. Unfortunately, McHenry passed away in 2015 after a battle with cancer. A few days later, Gosling posted his first Vine, a touching tribute in which he finally eats his cereal. Number 5. When he said the sweetest thing about his family. My oldest said the other day, she pointed to the moon, she was like, that's where you work, right? <laughs> when it comes to his private life, Gosling retains a general air of mystery. He doesn't say much about his family. And when he does, it's something usually humorous. I understand the girl-to-boy ratio in your house is now three to one? Yes. How's that going? It's heaven. It's like, it's like walking through a field of flowers every day. So it was surprising when the actor opened up during an interview with GQ in 2016. In it, Gosling reveals he considers himself lucky to be with partner Ava Mendez and their two daughters. He says, quote, Ava's the dream mother and they're dream babies. Despite never having romanticized domesticity, the star appreciates his beautifully chaotic life at home. We love a family man, and this interview proves that Gosling is one. I live, I live with angels. <laughs> Number four, when he broke up a street fight in NYC. Actor Ryan Gosling was involved in a real life drama on the streets of New York City. Uh, he helped to break up a fight between two men. Selfless and courageous, Gosling exhibited all kinds of attractive traits when he voluntarily intervened in a brawl. A witness was recording the unfolding situation when none other than the movie star himself approached. The actor calmly but firmly diffused the conflict, dropping his shopping bags in the process. I saw the guy from the movie. The what movie? The notebook. Where? Are you, Are you serious? Bystanders quickly came to realize who the knight in striped tank top was. While we would expect this from a romantic lead Gosling might play, it's nice to see him act like a hero in everyday life. The initial struggle was rumored to have begun with theft, but one thing's for sure. In this moment, the Canadian celebrity stole our hearts. Number 3. When he saved a journalist from getting hit by a cab. Following up one swoon-worthy act with another, Gosling again proved himself to be an everyday hero when he saved a journalist named Lori Penny. They were strangers both living in New York City when he stopped Penny from walking into the path of a fast-moving car. Evidently, the Big Apple is less dangerous with a Canadian there. Saving someone from a speeding vehicle has admittedly become a cliché in the romance genre. Ironically, Gosling's most iconic romantic role is a man who nearly gets his love interest run over. <laughs> Still, the reality of him saving another person has us metaphorically swept off our feet. Number 2. When he said women are better than men. One theme commonly associated with the Hey Girl meme is the idea that Gosling is a feminist. Feminist? That's a title you gotta earn. I never burned a bra. Not only has he publicly demonstrated respect for women time and time again, his influence has also spread to a lot of his male supporters who might not have previously understood the movement. As an actor, he expresses support for women working in the entertainment industry. As a man, he often honors his mother, partner, and daughters. I have complicated, uh, powerful female characters in my life. It's, it's just how I grew up. It's just, it, it's growing exponentially. <laughs> in a 2016 interview with Evening Standard magazine, the performer says plainly, quote, I think women are better than men, further adding that they're stronger and more evolved. While we don't think calling women superior is exactly feminism, we're not mad at it. Got these broad, you know, the girls from Broad City or, uh, you know, who are incredible or Amy Poehler or, uh, you know, <laughs> Tina Fey and Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy. It, there's like a, the, you know, and in music as well. It's definitely, uh, there's a tide, uh, there's a tide change. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. When we saw him on the set of the Barbie movie, we love Ryan Gosling as the iconic himbo Ken. That Ken life is, it's, that's, it's, it's even harder than the, than the gray man life, I think. Really? Yeah. In what ways? He's got, Ken's got no money, he's got no job. <laughs> He's got no car. 
when he was a member of the Mickey Mouse Club. Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, and Justin Timberlake are fine company to keep. We beeped out of a lot of talented kids and everything, Ryan, and you know, I wanted you to know that uh, you're a musketeer, and I went, no way. When he was a knife guy, Ryan Gosling is our favorite fake QVC host. What are you doing? You're supposed what to be my guest. Here? We sell knives at 11.30. Sheet. Everybody knows that. I didn't that. know. I didn't see the there's sheet. A, there's a sign-up sheet. Didn't... When his mom was his date to a film premiere, accompanying her son, Donna Gosling is a regular on the red carpet. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, when he dedicated his Golden Globe to Ava Mendez's brother. You don't get to be up here without standing on the shoulders of a mountain of people. The former Mouseketeer returned to singing and dancing with his performance in the musical movie La La Land. But while Gosling was working on the heartwarming project, his romantic partner was facing some of life's greatest challenges. In addition to being a mom of one and pregnant with another, Ava Mendez was supporting her brother during his battle with cancer. Sadly, Juan Carlos passed away in 2016. The following year, Gosling won Best Performance in a Musical or Comedy and used his acceptance speech to give the most beautiful tribute. While well, I was singing and dancing and uh, playing piano and having one of the best experiences I've ever had on a film, my lady was raising our daughter, pregnant with our second, and uh, trying to help her brother fight his battle with cancer. He showed appreciation for his lady and dedicated his award to her brother. Sweetheart, thank you. To my daughters, Amada and Esmeralda, I love you. And if I may, I'd like to uh, dedicate this to the memory of her brother, Juan Carlos Mendez. Thoughtful, eloquent, and evidently forever appreciative, Ryan Gosling confirms in this moment that love is real. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.